Hi everyone, Tracy here with Coco Con Essential Oils and today we're going to make a cooling mist face spray with Helichrysum Essential Oil. Um, it, it's a Helichrysum is a great essential oil for its cooling properties, its anti-inflammatory properties, and also for its, um, uh, it fights damaged skin and mature skin. So it's really good for that older skin as well. It's a great skin oil. Um, but with the hot summer months, there's a lot of, um, all of us are running around extra hot or we've got, you know, a little bit of rosacea or that hot and flame skin going on. This is a spray that you can carry in your purse or pop in your suitcase if you're going to be traveling later this summer. Um, and then you can just spritz it right on your face. It'll calm and cool everything right down. It's really, really awesome. So to get started, um, let's talk about the essential oils we're going to use. Um, we'll be using helichrysum and then we're also going to use uh, rose geranium and oh my gosh Roman chamomile sorry <laughs> I had a little brain fart there so rose geranium and Roman chamomile are also cooling anti-inflammatory calming oils so we're going to have this like synergistic effect of all three of them working together and then we're going to put it in a base of peppermint hydrosol which is, is an amazing cooling Hydrosol along with aloe gel, which is also cooling. So we've got all five ingredients working for us from a cooling standpoint. We have our essential oils that are helping with our, our uh, sun damage and aging skin and our inflammation and our cooling properties. So, all right, so let's get started. We're going to start. Um, this is a two ounce PET, our number two plastic bottle. Um, PET plastic or the number two on the in the triangle on your bottle is the only plastic that doesn't um, um, leach and react with essential oils so if you're going to use plastic use this one uh, you can also use glass of course I always opt for glass when I it's uh, appropriate this um, for me is going to go in my purse so I don't really want to carry a heavy glass object in my purse just to add more weight so um, and I'm doing a spray cap uh, Top, not a pump obviously so we're gonna take our cap off what we're gonna do first um, you'll need a funnel to go in your bottle and then you'll also need a one tablespoon measuring spoon um, the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of aloe gel into our two ounce plastic container or glass I should say so start with two tablespoons of aloe gel and I want to talk to you a little bit about aloe gel. I want you guys to see the color of this aloe gel. See how it's a natural color? You know, a lot of times I'll go into natural food stores and see these aloe gels that are like blue and green. And it's like, you don't need all that synthetic stuff in there. So um, the aloe gel <clears throat> that we sell, and you can find it other places too, um, has more natural preservatives like citric acid and uh, ascorbic acid. Um, you know, if there's diethyl, blah, 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 and you can't read it or even pronounce it, you might want to stay away from that aloe gel, so. Okay, so we have our two tablespoons of aloe gel, and now we're going to take our funnel out and add our um, essential oil drops to mix into our aloe gel, and then we'll top off with our peppermint hydrosol. So we're going to do um, two drops, rose geranium. I'm sorry, four drops rose geranium, four drops. Four drops helichrysum. And then uh, two drops of Roman chamomile. Now, um, all of these oils we offer on our website in a five mil size, which is the smaller size. It's about a hundred drops of oil. And we also have it in a 10 mil size, which is twice, twice the size. And two drops room in chamomile. Okay. So, and then what I like to do next is to put my cap on and mix this in really well. Because the essential oils emulsify with the aloe gel, not the hydrosol. And then um, we'll add the hydrosol last. So that our essential oils are mixed really well into the aloe gel. Okay, so we're gonna put our funnel back in. And now last but not least, we're gonna add um, two tablespoons of peppermint hydrosol. And one thing I wanna mention about hydrosols is they are aqueous or water-based, so they're highly susceptible to contamination. 
Um, so you always want to store them in a cool, dark place. You want to try and use them up within six months to a year's time. If you're, um, if you're going to have them around for longer than six months, I recommend keeping them in the fridge. Um, but also when you go to open them, um, you want to make sure that your hands are clean and that you don't touch any part like the dipstick of the spray bottle or the bottle itself because you don't want to introduce any bacteria from your hands into the hydrosol. So we're going to do two tablespoons peppermint hydrosol. Okay, and then again, I'm not touching any part of the container. We'll take our funnel out. I filled mine slightly, just a little too full here, so it's gonna overflow just a bit. Okay, just give it a little shake, and then you can put, um, put a label on here of what it is, you know, your cooling face mist. Um, keep a log of your recipe so that you know what you made, you can recreate it in the future. I personally I like to carry this in my purse so that when I'm walking around I'm like really hot and I need to cool down. I just go spritz, spritz, spritz and away I go. So thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to do some more um, recipes uh, for Helichrysum essential oil because it's really an amazing oil. So I will see you guys next time.